Under the section for product owner information, you will then need to select the product owner from the existing list. The system captures the product owner information entered in previous applications. If the product owner is not included in the existing list, create a new entry by clicking Add New. Next, fill in the necessary information. Company name, address type, postal code, block number, street name, building name, level or unit, the contact numbers, and the contact person. Click the Update Form button when finished. Next, we go to Section 4 on Manufacturing Site Info. Select the Manufacturing Site location as either local or overseas before clicking the Search button. Choose one or multiple manufacturing sites from a list of site name. Once the correct manufacturing site is selected from the list, click on Add then click Update Form button to update the selected manufacturing sites into the form. If the manufacturing site cannot be found from the list, add a new manufacturing site. Then, you will need to provide the following information on the manufacturing site. The site name, the quality system or the expiry date, the address for overseas site, and the country from where the site is located. Click on Update Form once completed. For product registration, you will need to upload the list of configurations which will include information on the devices to be included in the product registration application. You can download the list of configurations titled MD underscore form underscore models from the Click Here link. Save this Excel sheet locally for update <coughs> multiple model names before upload into the form. The list of details has to be filled up in the Excel sheet before uploading into Medix. Click the Browse button to choose the correct updated model information Excel sheet before clicking the Upload button. Once the list of models are displayed on this page, click Update Form button to include them into the application. For Section 6, GMDN Information, GMDN stands for Global Medical Device Nomenclature. You will need to select the suitable GMDN terms to describe the device in this application. Select a suitable category from the drop-down list. Then you may wish to enter a GMDN term field before clicking on the search button. A list of related GMDN terms will be populated. Choose one or multiple GMDN lists from a list of GMDN search results. Once the correct GMDN is selected from the list, click on Add. You will not be able to create new GMDN and can only choose from existing GMDN lists which was preloaded into the system. Click on Update Form once completed. You can key in the optional EST name field before clicking on the search button to display the list of importer and wholesaler dealers' names based on the search category. Importers and wholesalers who have valid licenses with HSA will be listed here. Multiple dealers' names can be chosen from the list of importer and wholesaler license search results. Once the correct dealer's names are selected from the list, click on Add, then click Update Form button to include selected companies into the form. Next, click on Update Form once completed. The supporting documents are attached by browsing the local storage devices for the documents using the Browse button, then click the Upload File button to attach these documents. All sections with the asterisks 
are considered mandatory. So you would need to include the letter of authorization, a Singapore declaration of conformity, and the primary label. All sections with asterisks are mandatory, which includes the quality management system certificate for the manufacturing site declared in the section manufacturer site information. Your cooperation to provide the information will greatly facilitate the review process. Click on update form once completed. For section 9, please ensure that the submission is complete and accurate. Otherwise, the application may be rejected. All fees paid are not refundable. You have the following options. Firstly, to save draft, to allow the applicant to save the application form for retrieval and submission at a later date. Option 2, confirm which allows the applicant to confirm the completed application form and the company's declaration on the form before submitting it to medical device branch. Last but not least, option 3, close, to close the application form without saving any changes made. An acknowledgement page will be shown once the applicant had submitted the form. The job reference number will be given in this acknowledgement page and will be used for future reference. If required, the applicant can print this acknowledgement page.